Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how easy Photoshop has made it when you're working with new documents, especially presets and templates. So let's take a look. When you launch Photoshop, the first thing that you'll see is the Photoshop Start screen. Here we can select from our recently opened documents. We can open documents by clicking the Open button here and then navigating with the operating system, or we can click on New. When we select New, we get the New Document window that's floating here, and across the top are a number of different categories. So we have the Recent category, what we've recently used. We also have a Saved category, and then depending on what kind of work you want to do, we have categories for Photo or Print, Art and Illustration, Web, Mobile, and Film and Video. So I'll go ahead and select Photo, and we can see that there are some presets right underneath that. If I want to view more, we can click View All Presets, and when I select a preset, I can then modify the preset details over to the right. Now, if I title it right now, that will become the title of my new document. I can change the width, height, and the units of measurement, and I can easily flip the orientation by just clicking one of these two icons. I can also choose whether or not I want this to be an artboard, and fill in resolution, color mode, background contents, even advanced options such as color profile and pixel aspect ratio. If I fill this out and I want to save this as a new preset, for example, maybe I want to open a document that is 12 inches by 12 inches, and I want to change the color profile here to Adobe RGB, if I do this time and time again, I'll want to save this out as a new preset. So on the right hand side, I'll click this icon, and we'll name this 12 by 12 inches in Adobe RGB. All right, once I save that preset, You'll notice that it took me directly to the saved area here, so we can see the saved preset. If I ever wanted to delete it, I could click on the trash can icon, but let's go ahead and open it. I can either double click or click create in order to create this new document. Now I'm just going to make a quick marquee, I'm going to tap the M key and then just make a selection of my image and use the keyboard shortcut command C in order to copy that to the clipboard. Then I'll close this file using File and then Close, and I just wanted to show you that when I return back to the new dialog, not only can we see the 12 by 12 inch image, but we can also see what I've copied to the clipboard. All right, let's talk a little bit about templates. If I move back to the Photo category and we scroll down, you'll notice that there are a number of different templates that I can choose from. I'll go ahead and click on one of these templates, and then I can see more information on the right-hand side. If I want to see it a little bit larger, I can click on See Preview. And if I decide that I want to use this template, all I need to do is click Download. Once it's downloaded, I'll click Close Preview, and then I'll choose to open this template. As we can see, it's opened up this multi-layer document in Photoshop, and if we look at our Libraries panel, and I navigate down through my different libraries here, if I choose Stock Templates, we can see that Photoshop has automatically downloaded it and added it to that library for me. All right, let's close this template for now. I won't save my changes, and Photoshop returns us back to the Start screen because there are no documents open. If you ever want to just hide the Start screen, you can use the Workspace Picker and choose one of the other workspaces, for example, the Essentials workspace. However, if you open up a document and then close that document, you will be returned to the Start screen. So if you ever wanted to turn it off in a more permanent fashion, then you can use the Preferences. I'll select Photoshop, and then Preferences, and then General, and then you would disable the Show Start workspace when no documents are open. So it's up to you whether or not you want to show it. I personally prefer to keep it on. There is also an option here to use the Legacy New Document interface, which might just come in handy if you're doing something like recording actions and you want to move quickly through that new dialog. One thing to point out is that if you make changes here, you'll note that the workspace changes, they don't take effect until the next time you start Photoshop. So you'll need to quit Photoshop and then relaunch it. Finally, if you don't have any documents open and you do use the File menu to select New or use Command N to select File New, you'll get the new document without the Start screen. And here I just wanted to point out that you can also find more templates by searching on Adobe Stock. So there you have it, a quick and easy way to get started with new documents, presets, and templates in Photoshop. 
My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for joining me.